but she keeps me alive. She's the beast down on my bones. She gets everything she wants when she gets me alone. Like it's nothing. She got two little horns and they give me a little thing. Before we jump into the episode, today's video is sponsored by Playbig. Playbig is an application on your computer that you can use to watch ads before and after a League of Legends game. By sitting through these ads, in which you can simply mute, you're rewarded with points. Once you've gathered enough points, you can redeem them for RP or PayPal. It's really up to you how you cash out. The app also gives you additional ways to earn bonus points by doing quests. For example, over here, you've got your quest. This one rewards you with 100 points if you win a game of League of Legends. You can also win 10 games and get 1,000 points. Once we go over to the store, you can actually see that RP is only 10,000 points, so it's pretty easy to get the RP. I suggest you guys go and try this one out. It's completely free, simple, and yeah, it's free, so why not try it out? If you're interested, there's a link in the description of this video. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Spicy Noodle Adventure. Today, we're going to be playing Bruiser Leona in the top lane. We've done this once before, but the last time we played Leona in the top, it was in Gold 4, I believe. We were running Kleptomancy, and we built somewhat tank, this time pure damage. It'll also be interesting to see just how well it holds up in Platinum. We were meant to be in the top lane, but I swapped with the Echo because it's just a lot easier to verse the Gangplank for me. And I think it'll work out beneficial for him as well to be versing Aatrox. Our intention here isn't to win lane three kills. We're just probably not even going to win lane. We're just trying to exist until the mid game. For the most part, it's better to start with W because you want to be able to clear the first wave. Getting the bonus armor is a big help. I'm constantly going to get pushed in by the GP, so the first item we'll pick up is a Tiamat to help us farm. The good news is that now that we're in the mid lane, if he keeps pushing super hard, he can be punished by the Nocturne, especially after level 6. In the top lane, it was standard for me to fall behind by about 10-20 to 20 CS throughout the match. We would always catch back up during the mid game, but the general gist of Bruiser Leona is that you're going to get wrecked in the laning phase. You just got to suck it up and aim for the mid game. We are chugging the potion. Whoa. Forgot we had Triumph. You should help. I would like him to help me push this in. I need to run. I'm trying to bait him a little bit. He probably has flash though. Help me push, help me push. I'm going to add some commentary over this part because in-game I didn't really explain why it's so important that he needs to push this wave. In the Nocturne's perspective, I think he just believes I want it pushed in so that we can deny him gold at the tower. So he thinks he's already back, there's no point in pushing it in, but there's a massive reason you need to push that wave in. If you don't push it in, he can freeze it and then I lose all the gold and experience. I'd come back to land with there being no gold, no experience, and not only that, but it'll be pushing in his direction. He can freeze it in front of his tower and then I'm forced to overextend just to get close to the farm, which means the enemy jungler has an easy 
easy time punishing me. Then imagine I die. Not only am I behind all that gold and experience that he froze from me, I'm now dead and it's still pushing in his direction. This is why it's crucial to make sure that the wave is in a proper position before you go back to base. And if we go back and rewatch this footage, Take a look at our minions, they've already formed a clump. There's 9 of ours and 9 of his, but his have not yet arrived. Which means mine are going to be killing his a lot quicker than his will be killing mine. No matter what I do, this is going to be pushing in his direction. Gangplank still hasn't shown up, which means we need to shove this in, let it reset, and allow me to walk back to lane instead of using teleport. We don't have enough gold for the Tiamat, so we're going to pick up the Sheen instead. It looks like he is going to be helping us in the mid lane. The Sheen's damage will help us out. No! Oh, fuck! I was just going for the damn cannon minion. He got in my way. He actually missed the cannon minion as well when I accidentally latched onto him. Letting him know that my R is still up, that means he can repeat gank and we'll do it again. Go do it. Push it. Push it. Oh, I wanted him to push it in. Maybe I've been doing this wrong the whole time. Maybe I should be playing Leona in the mid lane. In the top lane, no one ever comes to gank. Which is weird considering how much CC we have. That's a free kill for us. No! I wanted the assist! Scuttle's gonna have to do. Oh, Yee's in a bad spot. Uh-oh. Bounce! Okay, we're still alive. GP's behind us, though. I'm going down. Try and CC him. Die, 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 die! Yes, that's so much better that the brand gets the kill. So what was it? It was three for two. Man, that was sloppy. It looked so good as well. <laughs> I'm gonna let it push towards us. Maybe the Nocturne can come back and gank him as soon as he comes to lane. He already used his orange. That was an arrow. Didn't use the R again. Boy oh boy. Hmm, this is interesting. I'm not too sure what his purpose of being here is. He's just losing all that gold and top, and what's he gaining from coming mid? Maybe they requested a swap. Which definitely goes to show that we made the right choice by putting Echo top and me mid. Because I feel like what would have happened if Echo was mid, he'd simply... Echo would be looking to roam while GP free farms. Just because Gangplank left our lane doesn't mean I'm not going to be going top to kill him. If he thinks that's the case, then uh, he's definitely mistaken. Ooh. If they kept pursuing us, I feel like they would have beaten us there. We lucked out. Ever <laughs> hey Gangplank, did you miss me? Poor dude was just trying to help out you. Can we get the Aatrox? I don't want to waste my flash here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to try something a little bit different. Usually I'd go for the Titanic Hydra second. We're going to rush the Rage Blade as we're so far ahead. Ooh, 
I'm glad I missed though. Don't want to go that deep. Self field. Uh, brand flash. No! I thought he would go for the, the red ward, so I waited slightly too long. Can I get him? Oh, so close! Either way, we got his thumbs. Unlucky. Oh, he'll get him, he'll get him. Nice. Ooh, this guy has no flash either. Oh, that guy got wrecked. No, 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 the bounce, the bounce! Ugh. Feels bad. Oh, no, 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 that's 2D, that's 2D. He should have gone for the front line. Way too greedy. I've played enough Lethality Nocturne to know that was just uh, a greedy play. <laughs> Here we go! We're gonna be doing so much damage now. At least to the squishy targets. You know what? Bran's gonna be crossing back through here to try and help the vein. If this isn't watered here... Yes! <laughs> oh! No! I thought I lived! Fuck. Goddamn burn. Oops, his ult was a bit off there. That'll do though. That'll do. Yi dying there opens up the door for this Baron. We're gonna lose that top tower though. Should be worth. Oh, just another perfect pickup for the free Baron. Gangplank's their only threat, and I doubt his ult's even up. It should still be down for killing us. Quickly grab the tier mat and teleport in to help them. <laughs> oh, he didn't kite back! Yee's between us. <laughs> Goodbye. Keeping the cannon alive, that way we can poke down the tower bit by bit. I'm gonna rotate top. At least we'll get a tower from this Baron buff. Why is no one mid? If they're gonna rotate four to the top lane just to deal with an outer tower, we could have had the mid. Actually, I can still get this. No, I cannot. Yes, I can. Oh, no. Goodbye, club. Oh, we got two hours with the Baron. Anyway, we've had our fun. Enough dicking around. We've got enough damage now to end it. Let's just group and try to get the ace. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. An ally has been slain. We can get Brand. Brand flashed. Oh. 
double buff. Awesome! Everything is awesome! The Yi has been easy pickings. If we can just pick him off, then force the team fight onto the brand. They have multiple problems now, though. GP's big, too. But we do know the brand has no flash. He's also got no Zonyas, so there's nothing to stop Nock from one hitting him. No, oh, I've missed. Where's the knockout on the brand? Oh, the knock doesn't even have his ult. Pull back, pull back! There's no knockout! Well, shit, if we had the ult there, that would have been big. Aatrox doesn't have teleport. Who are they going to send bot for me? Is it the Vayne they're planning on sending? Nope, Vayne's there. Is it Brand? No one's here. Stall. Someone's going to need a recall to stop me. Or I'm going to go right through the base. Two of them already dead. Aatrox is still top. Okay, Gangplank is rotating. He wants his revenge. I'm gonna go for the fight. Quadra kill, the pen is right here. Let's see what we can do. Let's check out our damage. <laughs> we don't even have the Titanic Hydra. It's a shame we didn't get to see the damage it puts out. GG, well played. Not sure about their rotation to go for that Baron. I guess none of them were looking at the map. But that's what happens when you take Ignite instead of Teleport. No, 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 no. Let me over. Let me over. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, that's a good MF off. The Pike's already wasted his ult. We just need to sit here while the minions destroy their base. Uh oh. No! Oh! Either way, just stay here. We got those minions wrecking them. Sooner or later, they're going to realize. Or maybe they won't. This is fine. They're about to lose the game. Are they not going to turn around and get them? What the hell are they doing? They're actually just letting it end. What? Okay, let's go over there then. <laughs> hey! And with that, we're now officially in the Plat 3 promotion. We've got here by playing Leona top. Originally, we were running the Aftershock, but then went on to use Pressy Attack, and I feel like this was a lot stronger. If you plan on trying it, make sure you're playing extremely passive in the laning phase. You need to understand that you straight up can't 1v1 anyone, not until you have items. All meta top laners are going to crush you. You'll fall behind 10 to 20 CS, but that is perfectly fine, because in the team fights, you're going to be a hell of a nuisance. That's all from us today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Y'all ain't on his level, bitches, tell Torella. Y'all can never beat him like a acapella. No. If you wanna laugh or cry, head like any time.